Morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas day 23. We are now at Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> the big day is soon approaching. Um, can't believe how quickly it's gone to be honest. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just popping on this morning before work. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody um, that's made such lovely comments about my cats, Misty and Bentley. It's really, really heartwarming that you enjoy um, watching them and their antics. Um, and I actually thought it might be quite a nice little idea for me to literally tell you a little bit about them because, um, yeah, I've had a few questions before, kind of like, you know, oh, how old are they or things like that. And um, we initially got Misty probably about um, four years ago. And she came from our um, uh, cat, uh, uh, Cats Protection League, which is a cat shelter, uh, like a rescue centre. And uh, we got her um, to go along with the cat we had at the time because, um, yeah, we just kind of thought it'd be nice for our uh, cat at the time to have some company. And when we got Misty, like instantly, those two just got along like a house on fire. They cuddled with each other. They washed each other. They absolutely adored each other. And Misty used to follow our old cat just around the house everywhere. She loved him. But sadly, our um, cat at the time passed away. Um, and uh, yeah, that was about three years ago. And so Misty was then left on her own. And, um, you know, we, we had to wait a little while to be able to, you know, open our hearts again to another cat. But we wanted to. And uh, so about a year after our first cat passing, we adopted Bentley again from the Cats Protection League. Now, I'm very lucky because I have a friend that works for the Cats Protection. So um, she was able to tell me, you know, if maybe a suitable cat was um, going to be available. Uh, because, yeah, if I went to the uh, the cat shelter, then I'd want them all. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, she contacted me to say, oh, there's a lovely boy that's just come in. Um, do you want to come see him? And when we met Bentley, we again instantly it was just love at first sight. He was such a beautiful boy. And um, yeah, he came from a multi-cat household and we knew that um, Misty, obviously doted on our in our, on our uh, old cat and um, so yeah we thought they'd be an absolute match made in heaven and we did everything that uh, you know they recommend you know doing sense swapping we put Bentley in a separate room uh, they were separated for uh, probably about two weeks before they initially met because that's exactly what we did um, all our other times we've had cats and um, yeah everything was going fine they seem to like each other's scent and everything. But then it came to them actually meeting and they hated each other, absolutely hated each other. Um, their first meeting ended up in a horrible cat fight. And uh, so, yeah, they had to be separated again. We then tried it a week later. They fought again. We tried it a week later. They fought again. So I spoke to my friend and I kind of said, you know, look, I've I don't want to cause them any distress, you know, if I need to bring Bentley back, then, you know, that's what I'll have to do. It would break my heart to do it, but, you know, I need to make sure that the cats are happy. Um, but my friend said, just try and stick with it. It sometimes does take a long time, which I fully appreciate. I just wanted to make sure that the cats were as happy as they could be. Um, and uh, so she said, just keep, keep going, keep going. And uh, yeah, after probably about three months of very small meetups every now and again, um, they gradually started to tolerate each other. And my friend kept saying, just stick with it, stick with it, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. And um, yeah, probably about six months after we got Bentley, they actually could stay in the same room without fighting. <laughs> And um, yeah, I was just completely amazed. Now, fast forward two years later, well, almost two years later, we'll have, we would have had Bentley in, uh, it would have been March 2021, would be two years. Um, so fast forward to now, you'd never know that they hated each other. They sleep next to each other, they wash each other, they play with each other. Misty again has gone back to following Bentley around the house. 
Bentley is, you know, a little cheeky chappy, tries to steal her food <laughs> and things like that. And um, yeah, they absolutely love each other now. And every time I see them cuddled up or playing or anything, it really, really makes me and Stuart so happy that, you know, we got there. And so it's really lovely when people comment about how lovely they are together because it really does make it all worthwhile the patience that me and Stuart took to get them to uh, to where they are. And um, yeah, I'm absolutely so grateful to my friend who, who works for the Cats Protection for all her help along the way. And uh, yeah, even she is absolutely amazed because she used to come round and, and help uh, kind of just assess situations and things. And even now, she says to me, she goes, I cannot believe how much they get on uh, when you think about, you know, kind of a year and a half ago when they could barely even look at each other. So, yeah, it paid off. So, yeah, I'm immensely proud of them. <laughs> anyway, I've been yakking away for like six minutes about my cats. Um, but yes, anyway, uh, I need to get on with work. And uh, yeah, after work, I do have a video chat with some friends. And I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do anything else, maybe sewing wires or anything. I have to wait and see. But yeah, I will catch up with you just a little bit later. So this is our new kettle. Um, our old kettle started to make some funny noises and we thought, you know, just our luck, it'll probably uh, decide to give up maybe over the Christmas period. So we decided to treat ourselves to a new one. So one of these little fancy glass ones. So yeah, that arrived today. Already had uh, a cup out of that already. <laughs> and also whilst I'm here, I do just have to say, Look at my plant, look how well it's doing. So there's this one and then also this one. And um, yeah, the other one hasn't started flowering yet, but this one is looking beautiful. And a uh, big thank you to Linda, who actually told me that when I was showing these plants the first time, that um, I had some little white specks on them. Um, you may still be able to see just a couple of remnant bits there um that this was white fly and i absolutely had no idea i just thought it was a bit of dust or something on them and um yeah she gave me some instructions on how to um help that and look how green they are already they're looking absolutely brilliant so um yeah i was giving them a little rinse with some kind of slightly warmish water and uh yeah i've done that just uh, a couple of days now and they're looking lovely. So thank you very much, Linda, for that. Now, it is lunchtime. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, doing some cheating with some baking. So um, we, uh, during lockdown, like the first lockdown, uh, flour was extremely hard to come by. So um, I think we popped out to, I think these came from Lidl. And um, we got these like little ready-made kind of mixes. And um, we've had this one before. This is really, really yummy. This makes really nice cookies. Um, and we haven't tried this one before, which is just like a sponge mix. So I'm probably gonna set aside the cookies to one side for a moment because this doesn't expire until uh, March 21. So we've still got a bit of time for that one. But this one does actually expire in January. So we kind of thought, well, we need to use it because, well, we bought it probably maybe kind of uh, April, I think it was, and we've just never got around to using it. So um, yeah, it's just one of these ready-made um, mixes, and I think you just have to add, I think, some eggs and some oil and some water. So I thought I might, uh, I might uh, make some cupcakes out of this mix uh, for me and Stuart to enjoy, see what they're like. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend my lunch time doing a bit of cheat baking, and um, yeah, I'll uh, let you know how they turn out.
okay so finished work for the day and um, yeah I need to get those cupcakes iced uh, so I'll do that a little bit later and then um, yeah get some dinner sorted um, and I'm having my video chat at about half past seven that normally goes on for about an hour and a half so um, I'll record my advent calendar opening uh, just after that and uh, yeah, we heard uh, today that uh, from Boxing Day, our area is going to be put in the new Tier 4. So um, yeah, hello to any fellow Tier 4 people out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's, yeah, it is kind of hitting home a little bit now that, yeah, this new strain is, um, yeah, it's uh, really kind of sweeping the, the South East quite a bit now, but Hey, what can you do? You just have to follow guidelines and just uh, carry on smiling. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to um, call my mum as soon as we heard and kind of say, you know, sorry, we can't, can't go out for our Boxing Day walk with the family. So, um, yeah, just literally going to drop her presents off and say hi. That's all that we can do. Anyway, uh, yes, I'm going to start dinner and then I will catch up with you after I've had my video chat. <laughs> I've had my chat with my friends on our little video thing and that was really nice it's always nice catching up with those lot so I've come into my sewing room now to do my advent calendar so let's have a look we are on day number 23 which is this one so let's have a look what is in that one and we have got Oh, it's a ballpoint snag repair needle on that one. So, um, excellent tool for repairing snags in wovens, knits and upholstery. Very nice. I have no idea how to use it. Um, but that's all right. It tells me on the back. So, um, yes, that'll help with any mending that's required. <laughs> Okay, so I think that is everything for today. Um, tomorrow, I've got a slightly shorter day at work. We get to finish early, which is going to be really fun. So you may see a little bit more possible baking. We will see. Um, but yes, I will speak to you all in tomorrow's vlog. Take care. Bye.